we are in the earnings season and that's always exciting earnings season is like the nfl stocks you know <laughs> like there is losers then is winners in this environment it feels like there is more losers than winners but that's how you know that you have to work harder to pick a winner you know when things get hard that's when you know a financial advisor job becomes harder so let's see what is going on not financial advice though not financial advice, just in entertainment only. What happened today? So today, uh, Facebook got killed. If you're wondering why Facebook got killed, and the entire market is, is moving on the downside now, you know. Uh, in, the, in the morning, we had a nice, nice run up. I mean, look, like Tesla ran all the way up to, guys, uh, 9.34. That's sweet. That's good stuff. Now we're down to 9.09, whatever. Uh, you see what happens now here. Facebook reported yesterday, let's see, you see how Facebook reported February 2nd, and they missed on EPS, and that hurt them, but it didn't hurt them as much as talking about the metaverse and what, what they're focusing on and changing their entire business around. Investors and big whales with big money don't like that. They invest in Facebook for Facebook. They don't invest in Facebook for metaverse. Just like what happened in Tesla. Investors don't invest, don't invest in Tesla for, for the robot they're planning to do. They're investing Tesla for Tesla. And what is the core business of Tesla? Cars. So if you are going on a conference call, you better talk about cars. And if you wanna work on a robot, go make that robot on your own time and make it amazing and shock the world when you reveal it and help the stock price go even higher. But don't talk about robots while we're here to learn about your earnings while your core business is cars. And I said this again, I'll say it one more time. People can learn from Apple and Apple's presentation abilities so much. Tim Cook came and gave us some positivity. He blew the numbers. He did a great job. Like, And he talked about his core business. Maybe on the side, they're working on a car. Maybe on the side, they're working on a thousand other things we'll never find out about. Nobody cares, though. His core business is what? Phones, tablets, hardware and software computer industry that's what he does right now so he talked about his core business and the stock market gave him a big applause he brought great optimism in the market but he did a great job presenting the data in the conference call elon musk he is a great guy and a really smart dude and i love him and i have so much money invested in tesla but he wanted to talk about robots while well, we're here to learn about your core business and how it did you know the past quarter so that, that's that's the misconnect that if you're wondering what happened and why the tesla plummeted but tesla beat on earnings and expectations here's the numbers tesla reported on january 26th right here all right which is when this may have happened and they beat by 6.88 percent the eps were from 238 it was 254 they uh, beat by 688 and then the revenue they reported a billion more dollars <laughs> worth of revenue so they beat by 6.49 uh yeah but they wanted to talk about robots like i said for a brief minute and then in a market like this things like investors punish you for that because they want to learn about your core business what elon should do right now to make tesla a great great to position tesla in a great situation right now what he should do he should talk about austin the plant in austin and he should talk about berlin what he's working on there if he does these two things then he keeps talking and then he streamlines production there and then the numbers of deliveries are going to keep increasing that's how he's going to position himself to talk about his core business and not about robots or robots or whatever else he wants to talk about so anyway enough about elon because that's last week's news but what happened yesterday to facebook facebook did the same mistake but <laughs> let me show you so facebook made the same mistake but they missed on the eps from 382 they reported 367 they missed by four percent and now that's not that common they missed last quarter too on uh, i think on revenue right last quarter yeah they missed on revenue but anyway forget about last quarter uh so the yeah they missed on eps and they want to talk about guess what not their core business which is facebook and advertising and whatever and instagram they want to talk about metaverse and what they're becoming investors don't like this rebranding they don't invest in you for who you're gonna be in the future just like you cannot sell a business for who you're gonna be in the future you'll sell a business and you're gonna talk about the business you are now and whatever you want to do in the future, power to you, 
make it amazing but as long as you don't have a product don't make a mess over it like they're rebranding their name and everything personally i wouldn't touch facebook even if it was like 50 bucks i i don't like them they're a miserable company and many people they love them so i'm sorry to be blunt but i wouldn't touch them with a 10 feet pole you know why people ask why don't i like facebook well the reason i don't like facebook that much it's because their practices they're shady and they haven't evolved at all tell me what changed in facebook between like yeah they keep buying companies they bought whatsapp they bought instagram yeah great job and they kept them as they are and they improved them a little bit then now they copy in tiktok like everybody youtube does too they put the shorts there what is the revolution about facebook please tell me like i told you for me investing is thinking thinking of where the future is going thinking hard that's that's what makes this harder than real estate because you gotta pick a winner to win in real estate doesn't matter what you pick like 90 percent of the time you make money on it you know uh, if you structure the deal right but when it comes to stocks you gotta think and think where the future is going and you'll be wrong many times but the the promise and the hope is that your winners will bring you so much more than your losers then that you're gonna do great right now it's a tough market so i i'm not gonna put facebook down too much although i i hate them with passion like many people uh and uh, like i said like it, it, they punish you this market punishes you for making mistakes even if you deliver great numbers tesla is a great example so they punish you if you under deliver and you don't even talk to your investors about your core business now was the whole conference call or whatever about that no but they don't want to hear that they don't want to hear that you take focus out of your core business and talent and you put them to work on something that they don't know they don't understand they're not sure how it's going to perform how you're going to position yourself in the future so please people take lessons from tim cook he did a great job he works on a billion things and apple just said here's what we did last quarter we delivered great numbers they delivered they overperformed and they got praised this market punishes you if you make foolish mistakes and they should know better uh, but the idea and, and the whole point here is that you gotta tread carefully in this market because they will punish you investors uh they have no tolerance anymore because they they're scared so they have no tolerance the moment they hear stuff like this like oh i'm out i'm taking my millions billions bye-bye all this money accumulated within the past two years that was pretty much free money oh my god now you start telling me things that i don't feel comfortable with i'm not gonna lose it all on you betting on you bye-bye so that's what's going on here it's okay there is gonna be pain and there will be pain but we have faith and i still do and i know that meet kevin by the way sold all his stocks Shout out to you, Mid Kevin. But um, I have faith that the Fed is going to do a good job, man. And I know that he says that he's looking for uh, all these positive catalysts. Because at the end of the day, you know, stocks, they factor. And I'm going to close with that because we don't have too much time. But at the end of the day, stocks factor in the future. Stocks are, are a projection to the future, maybe six months. And when you see shaky stocks today, this means that the future doesn't look too bright. And when you see like green, nice stock market days, this means that the future looks good. So that's why we see the pain now because the future doesn't look too good. But like I said, better be in it to win it than just be on the side like a crybaby. Now, Mid Kevin, I know he's a long-term holder and investor. So other than a swing trader, he believes in companies, he buys them. He's just looking for positive catalysts like many people know. That's what Mid Kevin looks, and that's what you know. Many people in this stock market look positive catalysts. Like we see at the close, we see the sell-offs. We see people selling every rally. These are bad signs. Okay, it is what it is. But be in it to win it. Uh, I have faith in the Fed. I believe they'll do a good job. Let's see what's coming. I love you guys. Like I said, be in it to win it. And long-term investors, they're always getting rewarded. So, catch you guys on the next one. Actually, catch you guys on the next one.